actor Michel Cote has died at the age of 72, his family confirmed on Monday. The star, who was one of Quebec, Canada's most famous actors, died just over a year after retiring due to a health battle. The French-Canadian actor announced he was battling a bone marrow disease upon his retirement. Michel rose to fame in the 1970s after landing appearances in French-Canadian TV shows. His success on the big screen came with the 1989 movie The Cruising Bar, a comedy about four men who go babe hunting on a Saturday night. Michelle was nominated for a Genie Award for Best Performance by an actor in a leading role for his part in the comedy film. The hit film later gained a sequel in 2008's Cruising Bar 2, in which Michelle reprised his role. His work on the sequel earned Michelle a Joutra Award nomination for Best Actor. Another of Michelle's acclaimed roles was in C. R.A.Z.Y., in which he portrayed the patriarch of a large Catholic family of sons, as one of them struggled with his sexual identity. Don't miss! Stacey Solomon and Joe back to host this morning as fans enjoy watching them, exclusive, Rylan Clark and Cryptic Update as co-star Philip Schofield quits ITV, latest, Jesse Nelson worries fans as she appears to wade into Schofield affair news, opinion, Michelle's work in the role was rewarded with a Genie Award for Best Actor in 2005. He went on to appear in over two dozen films and around 20 TV series during his career on screen. When he wasn't busy filming, Michelle performed in the play Brewery alongside his friends, Marc Messier, 75, and Marcel Godier, 73. The show was set in a bar for men only, and saw each actor perform in multiple roles. The play often contained improvised content, which was based on news and current affairs while it was running. The show ran for almost four decades before it ended, and the trio performed to sold-out crowds. Brewe gained a place in the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest-running stage play featuring the same actors. Michelle is survived by his wife Veronique Leflegue, 75, and their sons, Maxime Leflegue, and Charles Cote, 